Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about a store and display product attributes with order. So let's see how can we store and display product attributes with order. First of all, let's add a column inside the order items table uh, for storing the product attributes details. Okay, so switch to the command from and uh, for creating the migration for adding new column, just type here the command php artisan make colon migration a space migration name so right here add underscore options underscore to order items table okay and also add the table name so write here dash dash table is equal to table name which is order underscore items okay now press enter all right, migration created. Now switch to the project and let's open the migration. So just go inside the database directory, then migration. And from here, let's open this one, uh, this new migration, add option to order items table migration. Okay. And inside this migration, just add here one column. Okay. So right here, dollar table arrow data type long text. Okay, and column name options and also set here nullable. Okay, and inside this down method, just write here dollar table arrow drop column and column name options. All right. Now save this migration and uh, let's migrate this migration. Okay, so switch to the command prompt and uh, just type here the command php artisan migrate. Okay, now press enter. Uh, spelling mistakes. So just write here php artisan migrate. Okay, now press enter. Okay, migration done. Now, now run the application. So write here PHP artisan serve. Okay, now switch to the project and just close this migration. All right. Now let's open the checkout component class file. Okay, so just go inside the app directory, then HTTP live wire, and from here let's open checkout component.php file. Okay, this class file. And inside this class file, just go inside the place order method, place order method, and uh, here inside this for each, after this, and just before this, uh, for storing the options, just write here first check here if dollar order item arrow options, okay, options, then just write here just store the options so right here dollar orders dollar order item arrow options is equal to serialize and inside this just pass here item arrow options uh, here only just write here item not order item dollar item okay arrow options then uh, dollar order item arrow options is equal to serialize item arrow options this one options all right okay now save this file now uh, it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and first of all just refresh the page okay and now let's log in with user credential so right here user at the user.com and password click on login okay now let's uh, go to the shop page and uh, order with sort by newness okay and just open this product and uh, you can see here there is the attribute color and size now let's select 
the attribute so select from green color and size 32 okay now just click on add to cart and you can see here the color green and size 32 okay now click on check checkout just add here the checkout details so added the first name last name email and the phone number uh, line one address country India and uh, province Haryana city Faridabad and zip code one two one zero zero one okay and uh, now just select the payment method cash and delivery and uh, just click on place order now okay order placed all right now let's check the table so go to the php my admin so just write your local host php my admin and just open the database laravel at commerce db and uh, from here let's browse the order items table so order items okay this table so just click on browse and here you can see the attributes value okay if i click on edit you can see here the color green and size 32 okay all right now uh, let's show the order attributes value on user order details page you can see here if i go to the user menu and here just click on my orders and if i click on details page details link you can see at the details page okay so in this page uh, let's display here the attributes value okay so for that switch to the project and uh, just close this and now just go inside the user directory uh, inside the resources directory okay resources views and uh, then just go inside the live wire user and uh, from this directory just open this one user order details component dot blade dot php file okay and inside this order items inside this for each and after this product name uh, let's display here the attributes values okay so just add here first of all add here the if directive so right here at the rate if and check if item arrow options then the first close here the if directive if okay and uh, just write here in div and inside this first of all add here the div and class just add the class uh, this one product dash name okay so copy and paste this class name and inside this div first of all add here the for each directive for each and uh, here first of all just uh, Add here unserialize method unserialize this one and inside this just pass here item arrow options okay and now inside the p tag also added the b tag and just to display here the key dollar key colon double curly bracket dollar value okay this one and this one all right now save this file and uh, let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now you can see here the product attribute color green and size 32 okay if i check other uh, products let's check this one you can see here there is no any attribute okay all right now uh, let's display this uh, product attribute value inside the admin order details page okay so first of all let's log out from user account and this time let's log in with admin credential so right here admin at the admin.com click on login 
now go to the admin menu and just click on all orders okay and you can see here the last order okay if i click on details here is the details page okay now let's display here the product attribute okay so switch to the project and uh, first of all let's copy this okay this code and uh, just copy and now let's open the admin so just go inside the admin directory and let's open the admin order details complaint.blade.php file okay and inside this file just uh, inside this order items for each after this just paste here the code okay now it's done so save this file and let's check this so switch to the browser and refresh the page and you can see here the product attributes okay so in this way you can store and display product attributes with order so that's all about the store and display product attributes with order so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching